based on best practices in online education and the experiences of our faculty and students teaching and taking hybrid and online courses here at Detroit Mercy, IDS has constructed this template. We've done our best to create something which will be easy for faculty to adapt to their needs and which encourages practices that result in the best possible experience for students, regardless of how comfortable or uncomfortable they may be with technology. So let's take a look at the template itself. It starts with the menu. We've divided the menu into three groups, content, tools, and support. In each group, we've minimized the number of links to make it easier for students to find the thing they're looking for and reduce the anxiety that can arise when confronted with a massive list of options. The content sections we fleshed out with help and tips for faculty setting up and teaching the course, including best practice suggestions and even sample documents, like including a pacing guide alongside your syllabus to help your students keep track of their progress through the course. Rather than have a section for lectures, a section for assignments, and a section for readings, you'll notice we recommend organizing by topic or unit. It may take your students a week to cover a unit, it may take two, it may take three, it depends on the subject. But inside that unit, you will include everything your students need to complete that unit. Readings, lectures, assignments, group work, everything. We recommend starting out with a zero unit where students introduce themselves to each other and perhaps answer some basic questions about the course that can be found by a careful review of the syllabus. When developing online course content, we encourage you to link your students to help whenever you have them engage with a new tool. You can see how helpful this is here in the zero unit as we're asking students and faculty to participate in an introductory discussion exercise. We're also providing links to instructions on how to use the discussion board, how to post a picture in discussion, and even how to add an image to their Blackboard profile so that every time they post on the discussion board, we get a visual cue. To help you flesh out your regular units, we've provided some guidance. The template not only runs down everything that should appear in the units, but we've also included links to walkthroughs and videos that show you how to use all the necessary tools. Want your students to read an article you found in one of the library subscription databases? This link will show you how to provide them with a link directly to that article, whether they're on or off campus. Considering having your students provide you with feedback on your units, we've preloaded the template with an array of questions you can easily load into a Blackboard survey. So as not to overwhelm, we've provided a single unit to get you started, and then included instructions for how to duplicate that unit folder for however many units you'll need in the course. The tools group is for providing students with quick access to the tools you want them engaging with regularly. We include discussion, grades, and email because these are the most commonly used tools. But if you plan to have the students working in groups regularly or meeting online and collaborate, then this is where you'd want to add those links. Just be careful you don't overload this section with a lot of items that will only be used once or twice throughout the course. Generally, students should be driven to a particular tool through unit links. In the help and support group, we provided a space for you to provide your contact information and possibly a little background information about yourself. We also encourage you, particularly for courses that are part of an online program, to include the name and contact information of your program head or department chair. The course questions link is a link to a discussion forum which we encourage you to use as a front line for questions of about both the course content and its activities. The idea is that any question a student may have which is not specific to themselves, i.e. not why did I get a B on this paper instead of an A, it should go into this forum. This should help reduce the number of emails and phone calls you get about the course and provide students with a first stop for all their questions. The last link is a support link. When IDS adds the template to your course, we'll load in the librarian consultant information so that students have the name and number of someone who can help them with research in this area of study if necessary. We've also included help for accessing library resources and technical support contacts. Finally, we've included a comprehensive list of help for all the tools you might be making use of in Blackboard. You need only turn on the help for the tool that you're using to make it available to students. Thanks for taking the time to check out the online course template. If you'd like to use the template, or if you'd like to suggest any changes, please contact the Instructional Design Studio.